All right, guys, we got the bucktail. This thing, like I mentioned, fish whisper. Want to see how she does on the beach here? A little, a little sporty out here today, a little rough. I'm getting through these rocks. You do not want to twist an ankle on this, that's for sure. Oh yeah, right here is a good spot for me. I have my phone in my pocket, so that's not good. Hey, Manager Brooke. Hi. All right, we need a jack, guys. I'm on it, don't worry. I got this. I love catching jacks, dude. Trust me. Look at that green coral right there. Whatever that is, it's green. Oh, we're getting wet. We're getting wet. We're getting wet out here, dude. Big wave comes, sweeps me on my feet in a good cast, good cast. What the hell is that? Oh, sea turtle. Sea turtle. Big turtle right here. Oh, look at him. He's right here. Cool snail. Yellow and black. I mean, I'm getting bodied out here, man. Woo! Wow, the tide is extremely low right now. But it's a little dusky. It's the sun is going down, and we're gonna be doing some night time fishing on the light, but it's almost that time guys. I showed a little clip in the beginning of me fishing the beach. It was windy, it was wavy, it, it was just crazy. The fish are starting to show up. There was a couple good fish where I was fishing on the beach that one day and uh, boy, I was just getting tossed by waves. Absolutely tossed by waves that day. I mean, I tried with the GoPro to try to catch something cool for you guys, but the fish are not quite there yet. It's still early, it's very early. So the bait is just starting to arrive. I know last week when I did that video at the inlet, baby pilchards were starting to show up and now once they filter out towards the beach, there's gonna be fish. There's gonna be fish just all over the beach. Once the bait goes to the beach, the big fish go to the beach. So that's that's a target to this summer for, with you guys, going to the beach, catching some monster fish. We're gonna definitely do that. But today I wanted to focus a little bit on my good old light. I know you guys love that video with the light where there was literally fish and crabs living inside this light. There was a there was a stone crab, or it looked like a stone crab, it was a big crab, and a pistol shrimp living in this light that I took. It had been sitting in my dock for, I don't know, months without me, uh, without me cleaning it. So that's what happens when you leave something in the water. Things live there. That's why when I go around and pick up trash in this canal that's been in here for a while, sometimes we got fish, crabs, all that stuff living in it. And that's not good. That's why me, Jack, and Manager Brooke are doing something big with joinfishguy.com and the brand. So if you guys haven't joined, go to joinfishguy.com. We got thousands of people that already have joined that want to be a part of the movement. So if you haven't already, go join, put your email in. We want to use this platform for good. We want to make as much positive impact as we can. We want you guys to be a part of it. We want you guys to feel like you're out here, like you're out here with us doing good for our ocean. So that's the little nugget I'm going to give you today. We're not going to announce anything yet. We will announce it as we get closer to our launch date which is coming up very soon. We're working super hard on this. We're making sure everything's just high quality, top of the line stuff for you guys. We want you guys to be happy, so we're working hard. But before the sun goes down and before we throw this light in, I want to chum up this water a bit because as the sun goes down, and there's, if there's already a bunch of bait here, a bunch of glass minnows, a bunch of smaller fish, that hopefully will bring something cool down my dock at night. Because if you didn't know, big fish like to swim around at night on all these lights. People have a bunch of lights in this canal and they love going from light to light, find food. And if we bring the food to the dock, we'll bring the fish to the dock. So let's bring some fish to this damn dock because it's, uh, it's pretty bare right now, but it's low tide. You never know what's gonna swim by. So this video, I'm gonna start with getting some chum in the water, getting some fish in the water, some fishy goods in the water. I heard cat food and dog food is good to chum the dock, like a cheap way. I don't know if that's true. If you guys do know if it's true, salt water docks. Can I use cat food and dog food? Let me know in the comments if you've ever heard that before. 
seems pretty far-fetched to me because why would they eat dog food? I feel like for fresh water, yes, but I don't know about salt water. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a try. Dog food. Maybe I'll give it a try for like a good month. You never know. I'm, I, I'm very skeptical with that. So before we toss the light in the water, which we're going to toss in later, we are going to, uh, we're going to get this water chummed up because we got to get those goods here. We got to get those goods here. And I'm going to attempt to catch some fish on those sand fleas we caught the other day. I bagged them up, froze them, and we're gonna try to maybe catch some fish on the sand fleas, baby. Man, I'm feeling good today. I'm just feeling good. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling loose. I hope you guys are too. If you had a stressful day at work, if you had a long day at school, enjoy, relax, kick back, open up a, a nice Capri Sun or a cold beer and enjoy. Let's catch some fish today. Uh, now my original plan for you guys today was actually, I was gonna go to the bait store, get some pilchard, go around this dock and fish for you guys to try to catch some big barracudas and whatever else we can catch. But the bait store didn't have any bait, so we're gonna try to do this method to see if we can get some fish. And then eventually, I do wanna take you guys out on the jet ski at night, but I gotta build up the courage. You know, it's a little scary going out at night. I gotta get a light for the jet ski, that's for sure. Let's get started with this chump. Oh yeah, that's juicy. Look at this juicy block. This thing right here, I tell you guys every time, I love doing this. This is my one of my favorite things ever. I just love chumming the dock because you really never know what's gonna swim by. I, I say it a million times. You don't know what's gonna swim by. Well, the glass minnows are already starting to show up and the puffer fish. The two you can count on the most, the puffers and the glass minnows. But the other day when I got back from the jet ski in that video, I saw about, I don't know, a 16 inch beautiful mangrove snapper at my dock and I'm hunting him down. I want to eat him. I'm, I want to eat him. If you're watching this video, Mangrove, I want to eat you. So hopefully this chum block will bring some snappers here and we can get that big boy to come back to the dock. He's really, really smart. Like you guys got to understand these big snappers, they get fished at all day, every day. They know what it's like to get caught and they're extremely smart. You got to be super meticulous with your bait, with your line, everything, or else literally they will not eat it. So we're going to give this some time. I'm going to throw some samples in there, get them fired up a bit. And then hopefully I'm hunting that mangrove snapper. One of these days he will be in my belly. Okay, trust me. And we got our sand fleas here as well. Just gonna toss a couple in because the puffers like them. And all that movement, look. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got a breeder. We got a breeder, that's good. Toss them in because you know the puffers love to chew on these guys and any movement we can find, any movement in this water is good movement. Look at those. Look how just weird these things are. Prehistoric, these things have probably lived for millions and billions of years. Look at that thing. It lives in the sand. I don't understand how, but the fish love them. Toss some of those in there. We got baby snappers already cruising the dock. Yep, there's little baby mangroves down there. So, it's been about five minutes, baby mangroves in there. Let this thing ferment. I'm a big patience guy. I'm a big patience guy. You gotta have patience in life. I'm coming for that mangrove. If you guys know him, you let him know I'm coming for him. All right, my dad noticed I was chumming the dock and he said, you have to use this secret weapon. It gets the big fish. Don't know if it's true or not, but we're gonna give it a go. He says he got two steak tacos specifically for the dock. Okay, I'm sure. And some Oscar Myers slow roasted turkey. That sounds freaking delicious. Not really. Um, so we're gonna throw this in. I guess it's gonna help, you know? He said you have to do it. It's a magical, secret, lucky touch. Goodbye. Don't worry, these are like 10 days old, so. Oh yeah, oh yeah, nice and juicy. Get those fish fired up. Who doesn't love a good steak taco? I think my dad was onto something here because the fish seem to love the Oscar Mayer. Maybe I'll get a bunch of Oscar Mayer for fish food. Just use that for a whole month, see what happens. All right, while we wait, I got this new camera. And I'm not sure if it works, but we're gonna try it out. It's a 360 camera. I got it for the boat. Hopefully, we can get some cool clips with it because, I don't know, I feel like a 360 camera would be pretty epic on the boat. So let's try this cool clip. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna jump. Does that look cool or what, dude? Check out the dock. Oh my God, you got glass minnow galore. Glass minnow galore over here. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, this is my first time using this camera. I don't even know if this is gonna work, but we're trying it out. I'm gonna shake the chum bag up. I don't know, hopefully you guys can see that. But, uh, oh yeah, that chum's coming off nice. That chum is coming off nice. So hopefully this looks cool. Let's do a little run, another run. 360 camera. We're chumming the dock with a 360 camera, baby. Let's go. All right, the sun's going down a bit and we got the light here. And I'm gonna throw it in now. There's already a ton of glass minnows here, like more than I've ever seen. So we're gonna attract even more with this light. Let's plug her in. Watch your eyes, this thing's bright. 
Something burning? There it goes. Alright, the light the light's malfunctioning. It smells like it's burning. I know. Do you smell yeah, that? I don't know, but now I'm scared. Is it on fire? No, it's not on fire. But what's bro. the smell? It's smoking. Guys, I'm gonna <laughs> toss this in the water now, okay? We're gonna get these glass minnows piled up once this light comes on, okay? That was a cool noise. This is the weirdest bug I've ever seen. Oh my god, it's alive. Should we help it out? Should we help this bug? That's like a it, hornet. Is it a freaking hornet or something? I think that's a hornet. What if it's a first man-killing bee? I think we leave it. Let Mother Nature. It flew in the pool. <laughs> it flew in the pool. Natural selection. Natural. <laughs> Natural selection. That is a weird fucking bug. Natural. Natural. Okay, holy moly, guys. Look at the amount of glass minnows. I'm gonna see if I can get them. This has gotta be world record. That is a cloud of them. They run all down this dock. Look at that, <laughs> that's insane. Dude, I'm a huge glass minnow fan. That's nuts, there's so many. There's probably gonna be so much more tonight. There is probably a good thousand down there. I hope you guys can see they're all piled up back here and all around the chum bag. There is so many. I'm gonna eat dinner right now and then come out here and throw a couple casts while the sun is still out, hopefully. And then at night, I'm gonna come out here and try to catch some more stuff. Whatever I do catch, I will show you. So right now the chum is working because when you chum, they will come. All right, my <laughs> this is the brightest light ever. My light, my snook light stopped working for some reason. And now we're fishing with this bright ass <laughs> light that's in my eyes. Let's look, try to look in the water. But first, hold on, I'm using, this is a silver side, I believe. I believe it looks like a glass minnow and I'm using this because of the amount of glass minnows that are around. They're gonna think that this is a, this is a good presentation. Because there's a lot of glass minnows, I throw this. They think it's just a regular glass minnow. They eat it, it's good stuff. So we're gonna use this. Let's try to see in the light, in the water with that light. See if we can see anything, if we can catch anything. It's not super late yet. I'm gonna come back out here when it's a little later and uh, see what else I can catch, but we're gonna try to do it on camera, me catching something out here. Just look what I just caught at the dock. Look what I just caught, I just put the aerator on. Look at this guy. I caught him on, I caught him on the silver sides and a miniature hook. I did not even expect to catch this guy. I was going for the snappers. No light, just the chum bag. I need to get my light fixed. Literally no light, just the chum bag. And look what I caught. I'm guessing this guy was Eating the glass minnows. He's really small. This is the smallest one I've ever caught. I'm gonna try to scoop him up for you guys. He's really cool. Look at that thing. Baby moonfish. Holy crap. A baby look down. Look how cool that thing is. That is so sick, dude. Baby moonfish, they're all over the lights. There's usually really, really big ones, but this guy, probably because there was no light, he was just cruising along and I smoked it with the mini hook and the baby glass minnow, whatever the heck, silver side. Let's get one more look at him. Look at this. Wow, How cool is that? Really thing? cool fish. That thing is sick. People, obviously, because most people don't have an aquarium for them, but this is one of the coolest aquarium fish you can actually catch. I love these things. I'm, I really want to get a school of these guys now. Now I'm gonna be out here all night trying to get them. All right, I don't want to leave this guy in the bucket. Let's get him in the tank really quick, and I'm gonna get back here out trying. All right, guys. Now the thing is, these things they shouldn't really be so low. So, and I'm gonna go out and hunt for literally 10 of these guys to throw them all in the pond. I'm gonna put him in here now, for now, so I can watch him, see how he does. But other than that, this little dude needs some friends. And I think we gotta take the jet ski out one night and get this guy, look how sick that fish is. That fish is really cool. One of the coolest fish, let's get him in the tank. Don't flop out of my hand, here we go. Feisty guy, dude. Let's go. That thing is sick. Guys, last night did not go to plan because my light broke completely. Then my camera light died. It was a disaster, a disaster. At least I caught that one fish for you guys that we can enjoy, but I'm not satisfied. I cannot have that guy in that tank all by himself. So what I wanna do is I am going to not rely on my dock. I am gonna be taking out this guy. I am gonna be taking out the big boy at some point. Once the wind dies down, I just got some new attachments for my cameras for 
the jet ski so I can take it out with you guys at night and you'll be able to see. So I got a light attachment and a new camera attachment that we can take it out solo at night instead of having a cameraman on the jet ski at night because it's just it's so hectic doing that. So I'm only going to go take the jet ski up and down this canal, look at all the lights and try to catch more moonfish. I want more moonfish. I can't have that guy by himself in the tank. They don't do well by themselves. So we got to get a school of these guys. Hopefully, hopefully the wind dies down in the next week. It's just been so terrible recently. I haven't been able to take the boat out. I haven't been able to take the jet ski out. I haven't been able to do literally anything because of this weather. It's it's killing me inside. I'm itching. I'm itching to go fishing, dude. I'm itching to go offshore and catch me a big damn tuna. I'm I'm dying. Fish guy Chris is seriously in pain. I want to take I want to take the boat out so bad. So hopefully hopefully April needs to just go away and May needs to start bringing the good weather. Okay. So that's our goal. In the next coming weeks, we're gonna get some more moonfish on the jet ski at night. Maybe we catch a tarpon or some snook, some big fish. That'd be epic. Thank you guys for watching. Wish I caught some more moonfish. It would have been so much better if my light was working. There would have been so many fish because of the way I chumped. It would have been, it would have been insane. I was waiting to show you guys the bright green light with literally thousands of fish around it. But we're gonna have to wait. I'm gonna have to get buy a whole new snook light now. Those things are not cheap, but I'm gonna have to buy a new one for you guys. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned. We're gonna get them again. See you in the next one.